technician element has changed a lot in the last 15 years. We're more involved as a mentor side. Students will have their projects from their academics, but they'll not always have the academics by their side. That's where the technicians come in. We're a front line for the students. We are there to support them, give them encouragement, explain what the processes are, what the machines do, give them a bit of encouragement if they don't think they're getting the right results. Students will come in with like a basic theory behind them that they've learned in their class from their tutors and the lab gives them a great hands-on experience of what actually is involved in the process of making concrete and actually they'll find out it doesn't always work like that. They see their theory being put into practice, they'll make up some concrete samples which will later be tested. The Heavy Structures Lab is the area where first year students will take the initial samples that they've produced and once they are cured for 28 days they will test them in various machines for compression testing, the shear testing, flexural testing as well. They will also encounter steel and PVC samples but they will be under a tensile test to see the effects of a slow rate pull and a fast rate pull. When they come back in the third year projects they learn a little bit more. We teach them how to use the machines uh, we teach them properly with, uh, to a competent level. They'll have to understand that the results they want aren't always the right results. It's just the results they get. And it's how they interpret those results. So there's no right and wrong of the results. It's just they get marked on how they interpret it. So they come in sometimes with a false impression that everything has to be spot on. It doesn't. And that's where we come in. There's also an environmental aspect of samples. They will condition them to simulate what happens in the environment. So depending whether the, uh, the samples are going to go or test them with uh, what country, we can test down to minus 40 and up to 70 degrees. So they can cycle them over a 20 day, 28 day period to simulate the weather conditions, see whether that has effect on the samples and then retest them again to see how the strength is affected. There's a carbonation aspect. That's a unique thing in the UK. There's no other university in the UK has a carbonation humidity chamber apart from us. That's a different aspect of conditioning concrete samples again. My role in the lab in relation to the student will be to help them to develop their project. They'll not understand everything that we do here, but we'll explain to them just what the pieces of equipment are and how it will relate to their project and how they will be able to get results that will assist their project. So we'll help them develop it. We'll then help them to use the machines, prepare samples, and then finally we'll help them to interpret the data. There's some sophisticated piece of equipment that they'll not be familiar with, but by the end of their project, they then have got uh, familiarity and some experience on, on the, these pieces of equipment. Also from the student perspective of support, not just in labs, we have workshops. We have a fully qualified carpenter, uh, we have a model maker, we have an electronic technician. We've also got a fabrication workshop. We have a dedicated technician who will make steel structures and he will work closely with the students when it comes to some of the projects they will need to make bespoke structures to hold their samples. The students um, come in and sometimes they take part in some research that we're doing from com companies from outside and it gives them hands-on experience of those kind of jobs so if they ever have to go out into that industry they have a better idea of that.